hi and welcome back so in my last video I had a kind of a rage about inexpensive watercolor brushes where I tossed out quite a few and I also tossed out a set of watercolors that was horrible um, and this is pretty much what I've been doing since because I've been poking around not quite having time to do much on YouTube and when I've been sitting here I've been on the phone or doing stuff so I've been doodling and thinking and yeah this is just what I've been doing that's not watercolor that's actually my test of the paper this is my Arteza drawing pad that I've been abusing a little bit um, and yes I have only one because the other one I gave away for a Christmas gift so this looks okay and it is okay um but i didn't i don't want to use my very best paints when it is in my sketchbooks like this and just for doodles and um this is actually where i use more inexpensive paints and um let's talk about some of those different china imports that are available because i got three that i actually think is quite okay for the price. These doodles I have here on my sketchbook I did with this set. It's my Mozart set. Uh, it's called Komorebi. It's a Japanese style watercolor. It's made in China. It is private labeled under this name to Mozart. It's starting to show up under other private labels. I believe I saw it under the name Soho that you can get in the US. I haven't checked the price on the Soho set. It might be less expensive. The US price for this is $24. We pay 25 euros in Europe. And, um, yeah, it's a quite an okay set. It looks a little boring on the swatch chart that is glued in the lid here. It's on watercolor paper. Now, being a Japanese style uh, set, it is made for a different type of paper than we use in the West. And I think that's why it works so well on my sketch pad, because I think it actually, this drawing paper resembles the paint, uh, the paper it is used for more than watercolor paper. This is quite absorbent and it absorbs it well. Um, and yeah, yeah, I quite enjoy this. There's no pigment or light fast information in here. So that's why I use it mostly for just doodles and stuff like that. Uh, I don't dare make it for anything that could be considered a, a thing I would hang on my wall or give to somebody. So very decent set. I, I quite like that. Now it has a smell to it and that's because the binder is, I believe, made from animal hides or something like that. It's not a bad smell, but if somebody's smell sensitive, that is something to consider. So I was also looking for something maybe that could work as a little bit of a travel set. And I should probably have looked at the dimensions of this one before I ordered it. Um, this set comes in this cute velvet bag. It's a metal box. It comes with a, an envelope with 10 sheets of watercolor paper. I've already swatched out the, the paints and they're quite fairly bright. What you can't see on the camera is that they have a little bit of a chalky finish. Um, it's not so bad on this paper. It is. Uh, let's let's look at what's in there, and then I'll talk more about it. See, it's little cakes uh, that is stuck in a plastic tray with wells that they are put into. It's like a it reminds me of a, a hard candy or something. I don't know if I can take one out. I managed to get one out when I was playing with it by myself. Let's see, little pucks like that. About the size of a half pan, maybe a little bit larger. They um, they also feel a little chalky in 
uh, when they're dry. And, uh, but they, they dissolve quite okay. You get a little bit of a sponge here. You get a pencil, a 2B pencil. And it's stuck well in there. It's not sharpened when you get it, but you get a sharpener with it. And the sharpener works, and the pencil works. Um, so that's nice. It's a little metal sharpener. And you get two brushes. You get a detailer, a synthetic detailer. And this is actually a decent detailer. I, I tried it, and it actually do make fairly okay thin lines. It doesn't hold a lot of water, so don't expect to be making super long fine lines, but for eyelashes or something, it is act it actually works. It is nice and pointy, which is a surprise because usually you get something like this with uh, with inexpensive sets. I just keep this as a example of brush that is not really good if it's your only brush. And then there's this watercolor brush or water brush. And it is actually quite good. I, I use this for uh, painting the swatches and tested the, the paints out with as well. That's, it has an okay flow and it's a kind of a medium sized tip on there. It sticks really good in the pan so it's, nothing rattles around to see medium size here. So it's a decent set for 13 euros, but it is private labeled and the name of this set, it says keep smiling here so that's what I'm going to call it. The name and the sellers and the price is all over the place. It is uh, private labeled to a company called Pegos that sells it both in Europe and in the US. In Europe, it costs, I believe, 20, 22 euros, something like that. And the, in the US, it is on Amazon.com for $20 at the moment. But they have it a little note saying the list price is 30. Would I pay 22 euros or $30 for this? No, I would not. Here is um, what I painted with it other than the swatch chart. Now I added quite a good deal of water to see if it would flow out and stuff and it actually you can make flat washes excuse it, you can't make flat washes with it it's not super good for wet and wet things because there's a lot of filler in there so the paint kind of want to stay where you put it. It is a good thing if you're if you like that and if you're a beginner and you might start painting a little too soon before the previous stuff is dry so it's it's decent. I paid 13 euros for my set. It was from a seller called Barcom or something. I I'll put the link for that I used in the description. The links I put down is not affiliate links. It is just links for your convenience. I get nothing out of this in terms of money or benefits. So it's it's a decent set. It can do what it needs to do. But it's not like a super set. So I think 13 euros is fair. I found it for just under $12 on .com. Except the box was light blue and the bag was light blue. But everything else is the same. And I think that's an okay price. And uh, I have seen it listed for, for children as well. So it's it should be okay for that too. Um, but no... 13 euros is the most I want to pay for this. Absolutely. But it's fine for doodling. I, it is actually a set I wouldn't mind taking uh, in my bag. My You need a fairly big bag because it's not really a travel set. But the price considered, I, I wouldn't be heartbroken if I lost it somewhere. Um, and it can, as I said, it can do what it needs to do. Um, and it has this bag that holds everything you need. And yeah, it can even probably, let me see, I got it an A5 size pad here. I can't fit that in there as well. Should be fine. 
What's that? If you run out of those little sheets of paper. Yep, it holds a, a pad of paper as well. So I think that's quite good and neat. Let's move these two out of the way and grab the last contestant. This one. This has been all over um, um, YouTube. It's the pretty excellent set, and it's not something I call it, it's the name of it. It is um, a 36 set again, with this cute box with a cute, cute, cute parrot on it. Uh, I'll buy anything if it has a parrot on it, I'm sorry, I'm a sucker. I'm going to put all the things in there because I've been testing it. There's a swatch chart on some fairly okay watercolor paper. I decided not to use it. And here's a little folder with colors in. It has the names here written here in English and in some of that Chinese language. I don't know which because I am not uh, acquainted with Chinese language. I love the, the letters but I can't read or speak any Chinese at all. So, lid with mixing area, and there's a little bit of a protective sheet here, and we got these 36 colors set in a plastic pan. Um, each color is about the same size as a half pan, but they definitely cost cut a lot by not putting pans in here and just use this thin plastic. With it comes a small water brush that is fairly useless because the water flow in this one sucks. Um, on the back of the box you again got all the colors and the color names and here we got some light fast rating and it is two and three star and it says that three star is very light fast and two is moderate and one is fugitive but I haven't seen any one star colors in here which is good um, so I swatched them out here I and the reason why I didn't use the, this chart is because it's kind of strange so here this line it starts with white and ends with permanent rows is like that row there the middle row is the middle row and the far row up there is this one and I just know with myself that if I swatch this out and I try to use it I go mental so not gonna do that I'm gonna do the difficult thing about trying to sort out the names and stuff I swatched it out here on my my pad and they came out nice and bright if you compare the swatch charts they look very similar the keep smiling and the pretty excellent um, paints but there's a difference in the performance once you start painting and uh, that is the pretty excellent are pretty excellent they are brighter and they are much less chalky in their finish but they 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 paint nice I have seen some people mumbling something that they think that these are like professional paints they're not they are more grainy and more opaque than professional paints but not in a bad way I kind of like these semi opaque colors because they're very bright and they got some punch to them um, they got this color that looks black in the tin. It says dioxazine violet and I can tell you it is not. It is absolutely not because it comes out red, red purple and a dioxazine violet is supposed to be nearly black and it's supposed to be much much more blue. I have a favorite uh, mixture that is dioxazine violet with a, a bluish green um, and it looked brilliant when I did it wet 
It still looks quite good uh, now it's dry, but it dried out much more red, so some of the mixtures uh, came out much, much red, more red than I expected. You can, when you mix those two colors, you can get a like a dark green if you have more green, and you can get a kind of a dusky violet if you have more violet in there. And kind of when it got it at about 50 50, you get a very dark um, blue that is hard to describe. It's very in a very intense blue. But uh, the blue turned kind of a grayish color because there was too much red in the violet. And this violet didn't come out anywhere near what I expected. But everything else was okay. There was a bit of a color shift. Oh on the other colors too from wet to dry but the biggest shift was that violet it is not a dioxazine violet um, so absolutely if you're gonna spend around twenty dollars or up to twenty five euros this is the set to get don't buy the keep smiling uh, set for anything more than thirteen euros or twelve dollars around there all these sets has one thing in common, other than being not very expensive, and that is um, there are no refills for them. Once you have used up a color, you have to consider what to do next, because um, either you have to buy a whole new set, and this is the kind of the thing I keep returning to with the inexpensive stuff. That in itself, it is only inexpensive the first time you buy it. Because if you're going to buy 36 colors of any better brands, it's going to run you up a lot more money. But when you have to refill or restack, then, okay, these it's hard to get a pan of, of or a tube of very good... Uh, paint for 20 25 dollars or so um, but I have paid 13 euros for a tube of paint of good quality watercolor paint um, for 20 dollars yeah then you can maybe get two tubes um, so um, but um, but it is a starting point and I'd say if you run out of one color uh, you can just take, if you buy two pink, you can just fill up the wells again if you want to keep using the, the the tin. This one, you could take out the tray. There's actually more mixing space underneath it. You can take out this and you can put half pan or whole pans in here. And you can, if you put magnets on them, they, they will hold fairly okay on, on their space in here. Um, so, so as a starting point, I think they're okay, but uh, you can't refill them. Um, basically, that's often a no-no for me, but I, I'm not worried because I got so much watercolor lying around. So if I should run out of one color, I'm quite sure I can find whatever color in another version in another set. Uh, and I got two paints and stuff, so for me, it's not a problem. Um, yeah, I think that's uh, pretty much what I want to say about these. I think that inexpensive watercolors, like other inexpensive art supplies, they, they're kind of a hit and miss thing. I have shown you three that I think is hit. Uh, if you go and watch my previous video, um, then I had a very big miss and, um, with, with the major brushes paint and I can see that it's still sold both for major brushes but also as private label from other companies and that is awful because it's really useless it looks good right until you touch it after it's dry and that's not how um, watercolor is supposed to be and it's difficult to use as well but um, these three sets, I, th are, are, I think they're, they're quite okay, all of them. Um, they have each their special characteristics. Um, 
yeah I wanna do a painting with each of these again I got one painting with a Komorebi but that was on watercolor paper and I really want to try it on something else. This was the last one in this I use. But I want to try painting with these ones. It might be that when I really try a finished piece that I might change my mind about either of them. Um, but as for now, I think they're quite okay. This is quite okay. That is quite good. And the Kumorebi is quite good as well. So, yeah. I hope this is helpful and uh, please throw me a like and subscribe and come back for more funny, weird, useful, useless information. Take care.